I'm Wayne Wilson, retired state trooper for the state of Wisconsin. I've been patrolling these highways for the past 25 years. My investigative responsibilities as a trooper have made me very aware of the deer vehicle accident problem. The Wisconsin Insurance Alliance estimates that over 50,000 deer vehicle accidents occur each year in Wisconsin. These accidents claim almost 10% of each insurance dollar spent in our state. The average vehicle damage is more than $2,500 per accident. This doesn't take into consideration the numerous motorists who are injured and killed. Also included in the cost of carcass removal, law enforcement time, and traffic congestion. All this adds up to a huge financial drain and a severe safety hazard. In Menominee, Wisconsin, I've been a member of the Dunn County Fish and Game for approximately six years. Our club has been very aware of the deer problem and in 1992 decided to do something about it. On Interstate 94, just outside of town, we had a severe deer kill problem. A large deer herd was present here, along with approximately 20,000 vehicles passing by each day. During the rutting season, which is approximately four weeks, we've had seven to eight deer vehicle accidents occur, and sometimes many more. It's here where we decided to install one and a half miles of reflector units. The Dunn County Fish and Game teamed up with a 3M company who made a donation, Whitetails Unlimited, Wisconsin Troopers Association. The balance of the funds were derived from the Department of Transportation grant, and 1.3 miles of reflectors was installed on Interstate I-94. These innovative reflectors work at night when 80% of all deer accidents happen. The reflectors reflect the headlights of oncoming vehicles and redirect the lights into the roadside area. This reflected light pattern deter the deer from crossing the highway when vehicles are present. Now several years after the installation of these reflectors in this section, we have substantially reduced the number of accidents. We continue to monitor these results and our findings are solid and accurate. As a retired law enforcement officer and a conservationist, I cannot be more convinced that this is the best and the only way to prevent nighttime deer vehicle accidents. It saves dollars, and most importantly, it saves lives. Wayne Wilson will demonstrate the ease of both installation and maintenance. One post from the post and the reflector, minute and a half maximum. With two people, it probably takes 45 seconds if you're working. We can actually do it in about 45 seconds to a minute. The method we'll be demonstrating for the installation of the street or wildlife reflectors is using sheet metal screws in comparison to the regular bolts that we're using previously. In putting on two reflectors on each post, one on the outside and one on the inside, you would use a long screw and a short screw, keeping the cost down to a minimum. Both are equally done as easily as was just shown. This standard post driver was modified by the Fish and Game Club to fit the delineator posts used for the streeter light reflectors. They can straighten and retwist any damaged posts. Using the end of it you can bend the post whichever way you want and the majority of the time what happens with the post when they get run over they'll get twisted we'll using the post driver simply twist the post to straighten them this keeps the cost of maintenance down to the bare minimum the post driver they adapted is a great tool for installing replacing and repairing posts